there she is. That was Miss New Hampshire Caroline Carter as she was crowned last year. And now her reign is winding down, but she's made a big impact in the Granite State over the course of this year. She's live now to tell us more about the exciting year you've had. Congratulations. Thank you. What does it feel like now that the, the, the new winner will be crowned in just about a month? Really bittersweet for me yeah. because I'm 19 years old. It was my first year competing in Miss New Hampshire last year. Mm -hmm. But and I have a whole list of experiences that I can bring with me into college and then I can bring with me into life afterwards so I'm really happy and I think a lot of people don't realize Miss America organization is so much about the scholarship oh, aspect so tell me about e what your opportunities will be after mm -hmm. this so at Miss New Hampshire this year I earned thirty thousand dollars in scholarship money mm -hmm. and then at Miss America I actually got full ride to grad school I'm going wow. to Sherman chiropractic and actually this fall I'm going to UNH for kinesiology and then mm -hmm. I'm minoring in bio Congratulations, Thank and you. a huge part is also your platform, and it's really personal for you, right? It is. It is. I'm a type 1 diabetic, mm -hmm. and I have been for the past nine years. So taking my platform, one Two we Diabetes Advocacy, I've been able to meet so many younger diabetics and talk to them about their diagnosis and kind of explain that everybody has something, but it doesn't need to hold you back. Mm -hmm. And that's important for people to know that you do so much community service as yes. part of the Miss America organization. Absolutely. It's actually one of the four points of our crown. Mm -hmm. We have style, service, scholarship and success. So scholarship and service are two of our biggest points and it's one of our most driven factors of the Miss America program. And so what is the week like when you're competing and what do you want the competitors this year to know about getting the crown or maybe not getting the crown? Mm -hmm. They need to know that everything happens for a reason. So for me, I was really lucky this year because it's given me so many opportunities and it's been kind of a dream of mine, but mm -hmm. that's gonna happen for somebody else this year and that there are 28 women competing and only one of them is going to win. So what we need to do is rally behind the girl and yeah. support her for the next year because we are her home team. And it's it's so incredible. So there's several nights of prelims yes. before the final, right? Yeah, there are three nights of prelims, or there's two nights of prelims and then our big final night, which we have an amazing show. One of your um, anchors yeah. actually came Jamie Staten is our host and he has been for 10 years, so it's really fun. And we can't wait to see uh, how your year ends and the new winner, and thank you so much for thank joining you. us. And uh, Miss New Hampshire 2017 will be crowned at the Stockbridge Theater at Pinkerton Academy on April 29th.